Hey, Box Union. Welcome to a 10-minute arm series. In this arm series, we're going to hit your biceps, your triceps, and a little bit of your back. I'm going to use 8-pound weights. I would suggest something in the 5, 8, 10 realm. And also know that as we hit your triceps, you might want something a little bit lighter than what you use for your back. So lots of options. I'm going to stick with 8s all the way through, but know that you always can drop or lift your weight depending on what your body is feeling. To get started, we're gonna hit a seesaw row. So your weights are gonna come into your hands. I'm gonna face the side so you can see my back, but you are welcome to face the front. In a seesaw row, weights are gonna come in front of you. Hinge at your hips. So my spine is long, butt back. One arm at a time, we go right, switch, left. So really working with resistance. This push-pull feeling. Push, pull, chin and chest forward. Your elbow tight to your body. Feel your entire back light up. Ha. So each round focused on a certain part of your arm or your back. Both arms go down, go up, down, up. Exhale. You're going down, up. Down, stand. Right, give a little relief to your low back. Yes! You've got a clean squat. Three, two, squat. Down, forward, down. Little hinge, forward, down. Little heel pop to bring you into your squat. You rock your weights to your shoulders. Pop. Two more. Drop. Extend. Last one. Back to your seesaw rows. Slow. Right. Left. So that's your whole entire circuit. Get those cleans. Get your heart rate up a little bit. Hey. Heart forward, chest forward. Fire up your butt, weight into your heels. Bolt down, bolt up, down, up. Yes. We add that stand, three, two, add your stand. Row, stand, row, stand. Yes. Hit your cleans, hit your cleans. Ha! Clean. Clean. Again. Drop. Last round, be you. Hit those seas all right. Pull your ribs in. Hug your elbow into your body. Both down, both up. Ha. Four more. Ha. Add that stand, add that stand. Stand. Yep. Finish line. One more. Let it go. Woo. Drop your weights for a second. Shake out your hands. Ha. All right. So we're going to start to work your biceps. Top of your bicep, anterior bicep, that inner line. So weights in your hands. Feet are a little bit wider than your hips. Bend your knees. Alternating curl, right? And left. Biceps. Squeeze your bicep at the top. Exhale. Exhale. Both arms, same time. Your tailbone is long, your core is in. 
hold it at 90. Three, two, hold it at 90, hold it. Squeeze your weights. If your hands are like this, squeeze them. Pull your shoulder blades down your back. One arm moves at a time. Up, full, only to halfway. Other side, halfway, alternating. Up, yep. So one arm is in an isometric hold. The other arm works. Yes. Up, halfway. Inner shoulders down your back. One more. Hold it halfway, open your hands. Out, in. Right, we're getting into that anterior. Getting into your back a little bit more. Hold it bow, little pulse, little pulse. Hup, hup. Squeeze the elbows. Tiny, tiny range of motion. Woo! Alternating anterior bicep curls. Right arm, full. So you're slightly out on that diagonal. Yes. Woo! Biceps on fire. Hat. Four more. Three more. We've got it around the world. Your weights go in and up. In, up, around. In, up, around. In, up, around. Keep your palms facing you the whole time. Yep, in, up, around, alternate. This one always kills me. Woo! Yes! It's in, it's down, around, up. Yes, two more. One more, one more. Hold it out, close and open. Woo! Almost there. Four, three, two. Hold it out, little pulse to the end. Elbows in, elbows in. Pulse, 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 pulse. You have four, three, two, one. Weights down. Woo! Shake it out, shake it out. All right, team. Towel if you need it. I just taught a class, so I am very sweaty right now. Wow, wow, wow. You're gonna kneel down. Kneel down. Once you're kneeling, let me turn this way. Same foot as your arm is going to hold the weight. Your opposite hand acts like a barrier. Triceps. We go down, we go up, down. So whatever arm is working, the opposite arm is your barrier. It's down. Press. Full range of motion. All the way down, push the ceiling all the way up. Four. Three, two, hold it all the way up, stand up. Tap your opposite toes behind you, grab your weight. Both hands, weight in between your shoulders, shift back. We go forward, back. So now my knee that was bent before, the foot that was in front, is the straight leg in front of you. Four. Squeeze your elbows into your head. Last one. Take your weight to your chest. Bring your knee back down. Switch. Opposite foot in front. Weight in your opposite hand. Hold it up. Use your front hand like a barrier. Triceps. 
Tailbone down, front of your pelvis lifted. Now for me, this is my left arm. I have way less control, but I can feel it. I can feel it as hard as I'm working to stabilize. I need my supporting arm to keep my arm in check. The whole time, low belly pulls in. Final four. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Stand up. Both hands on your weight. Weight in between your shoulders. Weight into your back foot. Flex your front foot. Soften the knee. Hinge forward, hinge back. Forward. Up. Squeeze your elbows into your midline. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Both feet side by side. Tricep press up. Both arms. Lift your chin, lift your chest. Squeeze your elbows into your midline. Last. Three, two, one. Done. Woo! Wait in front of you. Okay, we got it. All parts of your arms. My arms feel like jet low right now. 10 minutes, all you need. You can link this with another workout. You can use this as a quick way to sweat in your day, whatever it is. I hope you feel great. I hope you broke a little bit of a sweat. And I will see you guys really soon.